Hello everyone, my name is Harish Kumar and welcome to our channel. I have got lots of requests to make a video on how to use Vuex in Vue.js 3 with Composition API. So today in this video, we are gonna dive in and create a simple component using Composition API and we will use Vuex with this. If you want to learn Vuex in detail, I have already created a Vuex tutorial series. This is a playlist for this. In this playlist, I have explained the Vuex in detail. And you will also learn how to structure large Vue.js projects using Vuex modules and namespace as well. And in this example, you will build a basic e-commerce store where you will have a list of products and you can add product to the cart, remove product from the cart, notification components and other features. I also want to mention that this Vuex tutorial series is created in Vue.js 2 and everything you will learn from this playlist is applicable in Vue version 3 as well. The only difference is the initialization of Vuex in Vue 3 that I will show you in this video. If you also want to learn Vue version 3 as well, I have already created a Vue 3 tutorial series also. This is the playlist of it. In this playlist, I have explained the Vue 3 breaking changes, composition API, teleport, component lazy loading and other features added into the Vue 3. If you are beginner and want to learn Vue.js from scratch, then I will recommend you to watch this Vue 2 basic beginner tutorial and this Vue 2 component tutorial playlist as well. I will put all these link in the video description. Before moving ahead, I have one more request. To create these kind of videos takes lots of effort and time. So please share these videos so I could reach to more audience. This will motivate me to make more such tutorials. And if you are new to this channel, hit the red subscribe button and press bell icon. So when I upload new videos, you get notified. Now let's start the today's video on Vuex with Composition API. The first step is to create a fresh view app. So in the terminal, I will run view create. Let's say app name is Vuex tutorial. Before running this command, make sure you have installed the Vue CLI globally in your system. To install Vue CLI, you need to run npm install dash g at view slash CLI. I have already installed it. So I will skip this and create view app. So let's run view create and our project name is Vuex tutorial. Now here I will select this view 3 preview. Now our project is created. So next CD Vuex tutorials and let's open this in the editor and here I'll run npm run serve. Now let's open this in the browser. Our basic view app is running in the browser. Now let's clean up this project. So in the source directory here we have hello world component. I'm going to delete this and in the app.view we have deleted the hello world component so let's remove it and also remove it from here and delete this as well and also we do not need this style and to see this here let's print the in h1 tag vuex tutorial and in the browser and here it is vuex tutorial now let's create a component using composition api so let's say our new component name is notes.view. Now here to create a composition API, we will need a setup function. Now let's say we have a notes array. So const notes and it is going to be ref and which is initially empty array and we need to import this ref from the view so here i'll say import from view library ref 
and that is used right here and I'm going to display these nodes right here so let's say here I have a ul tag and in this ul tag I have a li now here I'll add a for loop v-4 and let's say note and and I need index in uh, notes and here I'll bind key next I will print this note right here like this next let's say here we also have a input field and on enter any value from this input field it is going to push that value in this notes array so next let's say we have const let's say title and it is equal to ref initially it is interesting and i will bind this title right here with this input field so v hyphen model is equal to title and make sure to return these two values in the setup method as well so notes and title now on enter any value from this input field we want to push that value in this notes array so on key press dot enter and let's say on press enter it is going to execute say function so let's create this function function save notes dot value dot push title dot value and then here i'll set title dot value is equal to empty string and we need to return this save method from here now let's see this in the browser refresh nothing happened actually i forgot to add this notes component in the app component right here so let's import this components notes and register that components in the components property right here like this now here we can add components tag now go to browser and here is the input field and on add any value it's working now our basic component is ready with composition api next let's set up a vux store so in the terminal let's install the vux now at the time of recording if i run npm install vux it is going to install vux version 3 and vux version 3 is not compatible with vue.js version 3 vux 3 is for the vue.js 2 for vue.js 3 we need to install vux 4 so to install vux 4 here we need to run npm install vux at next like this and remember that it may change in future now it is installed let's see this in the editor in the package.json here is the view version 3 and this is the vux version 4 now let's create a vux store so in the source directory here i'll create a new directory let's say its name is store and uh, in this store directory i'll create index.js in vue.js 2 to initialize vuex we used to import view from the view library and import the vuex and next we say view.use vuex and then we export default new vuex store like this and then we import this vuex store in the main.js right here and then we use that in store in the view instance now this approach is changed in the view.js3 now we need to import create store from vuex and then here i'll say const store and we say create store and then we pass a object to this create store and this object has state getters mutations and actions and now we will 
export default this store like this now in the main.js here we will import store and right here we will say use store and it is done now to see this let's say in the state we have title and its title is UX store and in the app let's print the dollar store dot state dot title now let's go to browser and refresh and we get error i forget to run npm run serve in the terminal now go to browser and here it has printed the vx store from the from this state title now what is state this is referred to the javascript object that contains data we want to use in our store it's like the data property of the view components option api and the getters are the helper function that gets the data from the state you can think of them as a computed property of stores and the mutations are the function where we change the value of states we can modify the value of state in other places as well but it is not recommended we should always change the state value from the mutation because mutations can communicate with the dev tool and it helps the app debugging and the actions are the functions where we commit a mutation the key difference between mutation and action is that mutations can contain the synchronous operations on the other hand the actions are asynchronous now let's use this nodes component with vuex store so first thing let's import from vuex use store and then in this setup method here i'll say const store is equal to use store and next uh, i'm going to define these nodes in the store state so right here let's say here we have nodes and initially it is empty array now to access these nodes from state here i'll say computer and make sure this is imported from the view library and then here i'll say store this one dot state dot nodes like this next we want to push the value of this input field in the state nodes and we can modify the value of state from the mutations so let's create a mutation let's say mutation name is save not now here you may have noticed that this mutation name is in capital letter this is just my preference i like to create mutations in capital letter you can create in small letter as well now we have mutations now in this notes component right here we will commit a mutation so here i'll say store this one and then commit this mutation name and then new value that is going to be title dot value and now in the mutations here it is going to accept state and new value title this one now here we can say state dot nodes dot push title it's done now let's see this in the browser if it is working add new value and it is working fine let's see an example of action as well so instead of commit a mutation from here i'm going to commit this from the actions so let's say we have a action save note and it is going to accept context and new payload value title now using this context we can access the context dot state this one context dot getters and context dot commit to commit a mutation and context dot dispatch to dispatch an action or we can directly access a commit using the javascript object destructuring so now here we'll say commit this mutation 
and I will pass this title in the second argument like this. Now in the nodes component, here I will call store dot dispatch and we will call this action save nodes like this and it's done. Now refresh and see if it is working and it is working great next let's see an example of getter as well let's say we want to get total number of nodes so here i'll get a function total nodes and this getter going to accept state and now here i'll return state dot nodes dot length now in the nodes component let's duplicate this and here i'll say total nodes and right here i'll say store dot getters total nodes and next let's return this now right here in the paragraph drag let's print the total nodes total nodes and then print the total nodes now let's go to browser and here is the total nodes right now have we have zero nodes let's add new one and it is incrementing here is the basic example of the vuex store and we can share this store with all components let's see an example of this as well so let's say here we have a new component add new note dot view now here i'm going to copy this to field from here and paste that here next uh, let's copy this script and paste it here now here we do not need this notes we need this total notes to display it here we need title and we need save and we do not need to return these notes from here next in the notes component we no longer need total notes because that is printed right here and we also do not need this title and we can remove this save function and from here i will just return notes and now from here we are no longer using this ref so remove it so now in this notes component we have notes which has fetched the notes from the store state nodes and we have displayed that nodes right here and in the add new node component we have input field to add a new node we get the total nodes from the store getters nodes this one and from this save function we have dispatched the save node this one which commits some mutation and this mutation puts the new node in the state nodes right here next i am going to add this node component in the app dot view here so let's import this components add new node and register that right here and here add the add a new node component tag let's see this in the browser refresh great it is working this is the basic example how you can use vuex store in the composition api i hope this is a helpful video this is all in this lesson if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.